Hi, I'm Sides. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really fun video for you. I'm going to show you some random Logic Pro tips. All of the Logic Pro tips are in this crash course. Um, this is something that I've made. It's an ebook that also includes video guides. So you can click on the table of contents like so and it'll take you to the chapter and then you can click on the title and you can open it up and all you have to do is log into your account using the email and username that you set up when you first when you bought it and it'll take you to the videos showing you how to do everything in that chapter but if for whatever reason you don't have an iPad because not all of us do and you want to just use your computer to access the book here it is on the computer and you can just go to the section, click on it, open it up and it'll take you to the video. Bam, here it is. All right, now for today's video, I'm going to spin the wheel and whatever we land on, I'm gonna show you a trick in Logic Pro from one of these categories. Let's spin. I'm going to show you a marquee tool trick. So let's go to the top. Let's click on marquee tool trick. And I'm going to pick one of them from the book. I'm going to give you a few cool marquee tool tricks. So one of them that's really cool, I always have my marquee on the third toolbox here. So all I have to do is hold down command and it'll pop up. So if I use my marquee tool and I want to like just highlight here and I want to play that section, all I have to do is highlight it, press spacebar. So that's So it's pretty cool that it even overrides the cycle. I'm going to show you another really cool marquee tool trick. If I use the marquee tool and let's say I want to, I want to crop out like some of this song. So I want to crop out this section, make my marquee tool, and then I'm going to press command backslash, click split, and look, it cropped that part for me. How cool is that? So there's a lot of other really cool marquee tool tricks in this book. Let's go back to the wheel. Arrangement tricks. All right. So I'm going to go back to the top, click on arrangement tricks. Bam, it takes me right there. And now I'm going to pick out some of my favorite arrangement tricks from the book to show you. Okay, so literally my favorite arrangement trick is that if you cycle a section, like let's say I cycle that section and then I do control right click or right click on it, you have all of these options here. So if I want to cut the section, all I have to do is press control command X or just click here and bam, it'll cut that section. This one's really cool. If I want to move everything from measure seven to measure nine where the playhead is, I can just right click and do insert selection at playhead or do control command V and check it out. Bam, it copied it and moved it over there, which is super useful. There's also a bunch more that I have in the book, but I'll show you one more that I think is super useful. So let's say I use my markers, which I always do, and you can access those by pressing option G and this window would pop up and you can add what you want. But I always double click on it. Let's do verse, chorus, chorus, outro. Right, just as an example. And I always like to color code them by pressing option C. And so then I can color code this, color code, color code, and then this could be like pink. And if I click here and then I do convert to arrangement markers, then that happens. And now they've created arrangement markers. And what's cool about arrangement markers is you can 
drag this around. So let's say I want to move this in between this. Bam. It shifted them and it moved everything for you. So that's super useful. Okay, let's go back to the wheel. Oh, right. <laughs> Editing tips for audio and MIDI. So I'm gonna go back to the top of my book. I'm gonna go on editing tips, audio and MIDI, and I am going to pick a few of these to show you. So I'm just gonna jump through some of my favorites. And a lot of these are just some of my favorite key commands. So first one is J to join. That just helps out so much. Command Z to undo. If I wanna join multiple tracks, I can just select multiple tracks and then I can just press Command J and it'll combine those tracks. And it even does that for audio. So Command J, you can decide if you wanna do stereo or mono, I wanna stick with mono, and bang, it put those all together, which is super helpful. If you wanna select everything with the same color, all you have to do is press Shift C and then everything with the same color will be highlighted and that's why I'm so into color coding my tracks and organizing so I can select things via color. Um, another one that I love a lot is, so if I want to move everything over from this highlighted point, I can just press Shift F and it'll highlight everything from that on. But let's say I want to just select this and that same color. So then what you do is you press Shift Control F and it'll highlight everything from that color on, which is super useful if you wanted to just like slightly move those over or whatever. Another one that's super cool, if you want to quickly change the pitch, if you want to change the pitch by a semitone, you just press Option and arrow key up or Option arrow key down or Shift Option arrow key up and arrow key down to change it at, from the from the octave. Jump up an octave, jump down an octave. And you can still see those over here. And this is just a random hot tip is that you can pull this out if you wanted to, just if you want things closer to the action. And this you can also do with MIDI, right? I mean with audio. So here's my vocals, listen to them. Uh. And then if I jump it down an octave, then you can hear it here. Uh. an octave uh, uh, or I can go down just a semitone just like that so pretty useful tool pretty useful key command another cool editing tip is you if you have like all of these plugins open you have like a bunch of plugins open and it's like kind of a lot and whatever if you press V you can hide them V they can pop up so all of these are in that section in the book where we go to the top and we go to editing tips for audio and MIDI. Like there's so many and they're just super organized for you to just organize everything through. All right, so let's go back to the wheel. Let's do one more. audio editing tips. So what we're going to do, go to the book, back to the top. Now we're going to go to audio editing tips. And now I'm just going to show you some of my favorite audio editing tips. So let's look at these vocals. Okay, I'm going to show you two really awesome audio editing tips that I found from the book. First one is, let's say I want to add a fade. So all I'm going to do is just so if you want to add a fade like how I did, which is just like hovering over the top right corner and it just appears. Okay, so you need to go to command comma, then go to general, then go to editing, and then make sure this is clicked off. Fade tool click zones, right? So now when I go up to the top, I can just hover and it will, it will appear. Now the really cool thing about this is if you right click on it, you can do speed up. So this is how it sounds. <laughs> Let's try it from here. And if you do it the other way, and then you right click, you can have it slow down. Let's hear how it sounds. Whoa. 
you could finesse it around with a little bit. Let's hear how it sounds like that. Whoa. Pretty cool. So that's a really fun thing you could do with your audio. Another really cool audio trick that I'll show you for this one, you need to make sure that flex is turned off. So not just this button, these buttons also need to be turned off. And then you can right click here on an audio track. Then you go to file and then you see this little anchor. You have to like zoom in to see it, but you can set the anchor. So let's say I want to set the anchor here. Now when I move it around, I can see the anchor. It's not the playhead, it's the anchor. So look, let me move it over. Let me move the anchor in the middle here. You see it? There's the anchor. So that could be really useful if I was trying to line a bunch of vocals up. Like if I wanted to line that that hit with like that MIDI right there, you see? Like the MIDI that starts on measure beat four of measure five, I think. So you can see, so it lines up. So that's where that can be really helpful. So I really hope this helps. Right now I decided to run an early Valentine's Day sale on my uh, book and the book that comes with those videos and hopefully this will help you speed up your workflow I'll put that in the description and it comes in a bundle that also includes three desktops with these key commands you can some people have even printed them out and put them on their wall but um, yes there's these backgrounds that you can also use to help you speed up your workflow and I'll link everything below I really hope this video was helpful. I'm also looking into potentially doing mouse pads again. Let me know below if you would like me to remake the mouse pad so I know if it's something that you guys want. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope this helps. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.